Now that we have our pipe networks where we want them both horizontally and vertically, we're ready to label the pipes and structures in both the plan view and the profile view. So let's look at how to do that now. I'll come here to the Modify tab, and then I'll go to Pipes here. And I get this Pipe Networks ribbon. I'll come here to Add Labels, and I'll pull this out. And here I have the option of either labeling entire network plan view, the entire network profile view in a section, single part in a plan view, profile, or section. We also can add spanning labels that span across a structure on two pipes in either the plan view or the profile view. What I'll do, though, is I'll select this first one, Add Pipe Network Labels, and I get this box here available to me. I'll just put that back here and our feature is selected as the pipe network. I want to label the entire network in the plan view, so I'll make sure that that's selected, and then I'll select my pipe label style. I want to label the length, description, and the slope, and I will select the data connected with the pipes for the sanitary sewer. Now that I'm ready, I'll select Add, and then I'll just select one of the parts that are contained within that network, and I'll select there. And now you can see that those labels have been added. I can select this label and just grip it and pull it away from that structure. I can do the same thing with the pipe labels. If I look at this label, and pull it away. You'll notice one thing. This is sanitary sewer and I don't want a sump listed here in the description. So I'll select that label and let's go to the label properties. And here on edit label style, I'll just edit this label style. Now I'll go here on the layout, make sure that I'm selecting the right component, which is the structure text, and then I'll go into the components of that. Select here on those ellipses, and I have my text component editor. Here I'll just remove that component from my label. Click on OK, OK again, and OK again, and you'll notice how that label has been updated. If I go to other labels, those have been updated too. They don't have the sump listed. Next, let's look at this label. Now that doesn't look quite right to me. I want the text to be read from this direction. So let's edit that label style as well. So I'll select it, and I'll go to the label style. And then I'll edit that label style. Now here, I want to go back to the General tab. This label is oriented to the object, and that's exactly what I want. The readability bias is set to 110 degrees. I'm going to set that to something a little bit smaller, to 100 degrees. And I'll click on OK, and OK again. And you can see that that label has been updated. Now, I want that text to be on the other side of the line, so I'll select the text and I'll select here on Flip Label, and that's just move that label to the other side of the line. Now one more thing that I can do with these labels is I can select it, and then select this grip here to move that label along that line at another location. Great. Now we're ready to label the pipes in the Profile View. I'll come back over here and select Entire Network Profile. I'll select my desired label styles. I'll select that length and slope, and this time I'll select a name only for my sanitary. I'll click Add, and I'll select that 
part in the profile view. And there that's labeled that. Now let's modify this style just a little bit. I'll select it and I'll go to the edit label style and select edit label style. This time we'll come here and on this pipe text we want to change this offset. I'm going to change this to point 2 click on OK, OK again, and you can see how that label has been updated. Now if I wanted to pick that label up and flip it to the other side, I could do that just as well. And those grips work the same way on the profile view as they do in the plan view. So I can move that along the pipe and I can pull that label off the pipe so that it'll have a leader pointing to the pipe. So those are the ways that we can label our pipe networks in Civil 3D.